So we have here, what rate of interest compounded annually is required to double an investment in nine years? All right, so this problem, we are still gonna be using the compound interest formula, which is this one right here. So we wanna start with this. Now we have to uh, look at what has been actually given here on this. Now the R um, is unknown because that's what we're asking us to find. They're asking us to find the rate. It says compounded annually. So compounded annually means that the N would have to be one on this. Annually means N is one, compounded once per year. And then the time is going to be nine years. Now, what I do, or we are told about this is we're asked to find out what rate of interest is required to double an investment. So when we look at this, we're gonna have an amount that we're gonna invest for P. So if I want that to double, that means that I'm gonna put a 2P in for the amount here. Whatever we start with, we're gonna end up with double that. So if it's double, that means we're gonna do a 2P. Now, if the problem says triple, then I would do a 3P or quadruple, 4P and so forth. But this one says double an investment. So if you double your investment, that means you're doubling the amount you originally invest. So you're doubling the P, which means that's gonna be a 2P there. Okay, so I have a P here and I have one plus the rate. We don't know what it is, but then the N is one. We have a one here and then times nine uh, years. So from this point, we can actually divide both sides by P. So those are gonna drop out and we get two equals one plus nine to the ninth power. Okay, so that's how we can simplify the inside. At this point, need to solve for the R. Now, the way that we can do that is to take the ninth root of both sides here because I want the nine here to go away. So what I wanna do here is I'm gonna take the ninth root of two, but I'm also gonna take the ninth root of one plus R uh, to the power of nine. So I'm taking the ninth root of both sides. The nine and this nine, those are gonna cancel out. So we get the ninth root of two is gonna be equal, equal to one plus R. Then from here, we can subtract one from both sides and we'll get R is equal to the ninth root of two minus one. Now we have to turn this into a decimal and so that way we can get it as a percent. So if we put this part, ninth root of two, now on your calculator for this part here, you might have to do two carat key and then one ninth. So you can just keep it as a, that's really what that means. So we have the ninth root of two is really two raised to the one ninth power. So you might have to put this in your calculator in order to get it. But if we put this whole thing into a calculator, then this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get 0 0.0801 with some more decimals afterwards, but I'm just gonna write it out to here. Now for this, uh, it'll tell you in the homework what to round your answer to. In this case, we're gonna round our answer to uh, two decimal places. So if we round to two decimal places here, you move the decimal place two places to the right and you get 8.01 percent. And so that would be the interest rate that you would need compounded annually in order to double your investment. If you want to double that in nine years, this is you need this rate in order to do so.